when I walk around the first year and second year painting studios, occasionally I see these horrible monstrosities of damaged and ruined brushes. And uh, so I decided to make this simple guide on how you can maintain your artist brushes. So brushes can be very expensive, but crop proper care and persistence will enable them to last a lifetime. I know some senior artists that have brushes older than I am. Anyway, step one is to understand the anatomy of a brush. So it's a really simple thing, but the most important part is the furrow, uh, which is where a lot of mistakes and damages occur. It's simply, it's the place that where the glue is, and that's where the bristles are kept together. And when too much particulate gets into the, into the furrow, uh, the brush will lose its bristles and begin to split. So you want to have your brushes last, it's important to keep this area free of uh, water and paint. So the first step is to not leave your brush in water, because the bristles will soak the water into the glue and begin to fall apart. Uh, the second step is not to load the brush beyond the furrow. The paint that gets stuck in there will cause the bristles to split apart. Now a lot of this damage is perm permanent. Once you get splitting bristles, it can't, you can't go back. However, paint will accumulate in that area naturally over time, so to not have your brushes slowly split apart, you have to, every time you're painting, is to massage the furrow area. While you're pointing down and have the brush under clean water, you stroke the area with your fingers and then naturally anything that's stuck in there will begin to pour out. And, that's, and that works fine for acrylic and oil paint. And you can use solvents and things to uh, get oil paint out. So after you've, you've done that and cleared that area, it's very simple to just um, finish the brush off with uh, a towel or something to clean it off. Uh, if you're doing anything more viscous than paint an acrylic, like for example if you're painting with latex, in order to clean that area it becomes much more difficult. You would have to get a brush, uh, a fine metal hair brush, and then remove things from the area while stroking away from the bristles. Uh, an additional thing you have to be conscious of is the quality and type of bristle you have on your brush. Um, plastic and hair is slightly different, but for both, essentially, you have to do is be careful and gentle when it comes to cleaning, and any brush will be fine. However, some, like a, a sable hair brush with its extra fine bristles, is very easy to damage. So, for those brushes, when it comes to cleaning them, you have to be extra gentle. And that's all it really takes to maintain your artist tools. Uh, what it really comes down to is simply persistence in your cleaning habits. And as long as you have that pattern and rhythm down, your brushes should last you almost forever.